What's up, Wolfbag fam? It's your boy, kid. Back at it again. Friday is here. Go get your snacks, because ladies and gentlemen, snacks is not included. Damn it, you got to bring your own. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, we're going to continue on this glorious journey of Dad's Army, man. These episodes for me go like hotcakes, but, uh, you know, we're second episode for series four, and I'm just ready for some more. So, uh, yeah, let's go get it. Let's get it, guys. Snacks not included. Let's freaking go. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. Well, there we were in the desert. No food and what was worse, no water. <laughs> and Johnny Turk sniping at us all the time. <laughs> you know, my tongue was so swollen it filled my entire mouth. I would have sold my soul to the devil for a drink. Would you like another, sir? Oh, thank you very much, sir. It's very good. Thank you, thank you. Same again, please. We don't see you gentlemen from the Eastgate platoon in this part of the globe very often. No, we're over to see about the big exercise on Sunday. Ah? Uh, what exercise is that, then? All the Home Guard units in the area are taking part. That's enough, Sergeant. <clears throat> Careless talk, you know. What? What? Careless talk, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. Where was I? What the hell? The desert, dying of thirst. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. Yes. <clears throat> As I was saying, my tongue was absolutely black. And then I remembered the old trick of sucking a pebble. Only trouble was... No pebbles in the desert, what? <laughs> Nothing but sand, don't you know? And then I had an idea, and I pulled out my gold hunter. It was a beautiful watch. It uh, belonged to my father. It's uh, even got an alarm. And I popped that in my mouth. And I left it there for three days. And there's no doubt about it that that watch saved my life. That's a remarkable story. Well, I'll tell you something, it's even more remarkable. When I took that watch out, it was still going perfectly. It hadn't lost or gained a second. Well, I'll, I'll prove it to you. Look, I'll pop this into my mouth for a few minutes, and you'll see. I'll just set the alarm. Ah. Who <laughs> 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 finds your pricks? Uh, oh, well, I must say I can do with a glass of beer, sir. Oh, yes, I always look forward to my pint after the train. Oh, Lord, look. There's that terrible old boar, Captain Square, over there. I wonder what he's doing over here. I suppose he's over from Eastgate. About the scheme on Sunday. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to the other end of the bar. Yeah, good idea. Good evening, Mr. Marion. Good evening, Mr. Wilson. Good evening, Mr. Wilson. Good evening, Mr. Wilson. What the devil's he doing with the watch in his mouth? <laughs> well, perhaps he's, uh, perhaps he's um, watching his drink, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little play on words, you see what I mean, sir? So, oh, uh, really, Wilson. <laughs> Your sense of humour gets more childish every day. Well, <laughs> ah, there we are. And still going. What did I tell you, eh? <laughs> well, I think this calls for another drink, don't you? Oh, I'm so sorry, Main Waring. You were first after you. Oh, please, carry on. Well, the same again, then, please. Well, Main Waring, are you looking forward to Sunday? Should be an interesting day. Mm -hmm. oh, you're going to find it difficult capturing that mill with us inside. How are you going to get across all that open ground? I dare say where we'll be found. <laughs> and now, gentlemen, it's your turn. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, pints? Yes, please. Yes, thanks very much. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way, bro. Sorry, gents. No more beer. Well, that's nice. When that man that sucks, dead eh? and gone. When that and man so, gentlemen, this is, without doubt, the most difficult exercise that we have so far tackled. <clears throat> to sum up, then, here is the windmill. Inside, Captain Square and the Eastgate platoon. The wall here, river here, boathouse here, and here and here, bushes and trees. All round the windmill, completely open ground, not a scrap of cover anywhere. Now, our job is to get across that open ground and plant a high explosive inside the windmill. Any suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speak, sir. Yeah. What about a tunnel, sir? Tunnel? Tunnel. Yes, sir. See, we can all go round behind that wall, and we can dig a hole. 
in a downwards direction, sir. <laughs> down, down, and down. Then suddenly we start digging sideways, sir. Sideways, sideways. Then when we think we're under the mill, start digging upwards, upwards, upwards. <laughs> and God willing, we'll be in the mill. <laughs> or else in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you're in the realms of fantasy again here, Jim. <laughs> here he goes again, these realms of fantasy. He's playing with fire, you know. I control his meat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've got an hey, idea, Rob. sir. I seem to remember there was uh, some play of Shakespeare's. I can't quite remember which one it was, a play of his, anyway. And there was a king, some sort of king, who um, invited his troops to dress up as bushes um, so that they could move across the open ground in order to attack the castle. Yes. Hmm. Dress them up as bushes. As bushes, yes, that's right, yes. Well, that sounds a very good idea. Yes. Now, are you going to be polishing there long, Virgil? I don't know. I've got to keep the place clean. The state you leave it in after every parade is a disgrace. We'll do it some other time, will you? You're getting on my nerves creeping about the place with that miserable look on your face. <laughs> this happens to be my normal expression. You can't be a virgin with a funny face, you know. <laughs> You see, that man is all right. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. They treat me like dirt. Sorry about that, gentlemen. <laughs> Where were we up to? Yeah, I've got an idea, sir. Why don't you get one of us inside a dummy log, and then we can float down the river till we get to the mill, and I should do the trick. Yes, that sounds rather a rather good idea, Walker. The only thing is that uh, somebody would have to push the log, and I don't think any of us could stay underwater for that length of time. There's someone in a diving suit to push the log. <laughs> <laughs> diving suit. Don't be absurd. <laughs> Who's got a diving suit? I've got a diving suit. <laughs> hey! How did you come by that? At home when I was in the South Seas, you were a friend of mine, Wally Stewart. We were diving for pearls. Well, one day he was down below doing the job and I was up on deck where the native boys uh, work in the pumps. And suddenly I felt four pulls on his lifeline. That means haul me up. I knew there was trouble. So I looked down. See out there's as clear as crystal. And there was Wally fighting for his life with a giant squid. I never hesitated. I dived down and down into the depths and I plunged my knife between those two hideous eyes. My lungs were bursting, a red mist before my eyes. The sea was black with the inky liquid from the squid. I gave the signal and I quickly pulled Wally up. And we got him on deck, and unscrewed his helmet, and then, then I realised they'd pulled him up too quickly. <laughs> he was dying from the dreaded bed. <laughs> <laughs> I cradled him in my arms, and he gazed up at me and said, Joe, look after my poor old mother. <laughs> see that she gets all my property. Well, all he had was his diving suit, and it was no use to her, so I, I gave her ten bob and kept it. <laughs> Fair enough. Every time after that, whenever I went down in that diving helmet, you could hear poor Wally's voice crying. <laughs> 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 the guy is staring, man. <laughs> so, we take it you have a diving suit. <laughs> Where's the speaker? Yes. I'll go to the vicar and I'll borrow that imitation log he's got, what he uses in his pantomime, Babes of the Wood. I don't think you like that very much. Oh, don't you fret about that, sir. I'm in charge of his meat, so you'd do anything for a bit of kidney. <laughs> <laughs> very well. There's nothing else we can do tonight. We're afraid here at the usual time tomorrow and discuss the plan in detail. That's all. Hello? 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 Who's that? It's me here, Captain Square, the verge of Wilmington on Sea Parish Church. Oh, is it in yours? Oh. Yes, sir. I found out how they're going to get into the mill. How? The same way as Shakespeare did it. Shakespeare? What are you talking about? They're going to dress up as bushes, creep into the crops, and then across the open ground. Oh, that's an old trick. Main wearing must be slipping. <laughs> well, thank you for your help. Oh, it's a pleasure, sir. I'd do anything for you, sir. You're a gentleman. 
Not like Mannering's lot. Treat me like dirt they do, just like dirt. Snitch? Life is a melody never heard before. Right, Fraser. Fine. Fine. Thank right. you, sir. Right, I'll just uh, run through the plan of detail shot. again. Uh, we are in the boathouse here, and Fraser will push the log out from the inside of the boathouse into the open river here. Then, uh, remaining underwater all the time, he'll push the log along through the river till he comes level with the windmill here. What do you do then, Fraser? When I'm level with the windmill, I give one tug on my lifeline. Right. Now, when Fraser tugs on his lifeline, I shall give one warble on my bird warbler. <laughs> and what do you do then, Wilson? Well, when you've done your warble on your bird warbler, I shall start to create the first diversion. Right, Walker? Well, when you've warbled and Sergeant Wilson starts the first uh, diversion, I'm going to help him with it. That's right. And what happens then, Fraser? While the diversion is attracting the attention of the defenders in the mill, I quickly tilt Jones in the log onto the bank. Excellent. Thank you. Jones? Where's Jones? He's dressing up as a log. <laughs> Hurry up, Jones. Shouldn't take you all this time to dress up as a log. <laughs> and here we have Betty in a natty little one-piece woodland ensemble. <laughs> 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 like Walker. Beautiful, man. <laughs> All right, stand easy, Corporal. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think, Wilson? I don't know what to think, sir. I, I really don't. <laughs> it's too late to change our plans now. I'm just going to go through with it and hope for the best. Yes, quite so, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, Jones. Je Where are you, Jones? Jones. I'm here, sir. Oh, I see. <laughs> now, sir, we've just got to the bit where you've been tipped on the on the back. Yes, you see? Sir. Yes, sir. I want to do that. Well, sir, it's like this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. While Sergeant Wilson is being diverting, I make my way to the windmill. That's right. Yes, sir. Now, when Jones reaches the windmill, I shall then give two warbles on my bird warbler. And what happens then? Uh, when I hear you give two warbles on the bird warbler, I start the second diversion. And I open with it. That's right. <laughs> now, now uh, Jones, Jones. This second diversion should just about give you time to get to the mill. Yes, you see? Yes, you flat yourself against the outside so that the people inside can't see you. Yes, you then divest yourself of the log and climb up the ladder here and throw the bomb in through the window. Here. here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to carry the bomb? Well, sir, I slap that between my legs, sir. What? I slap a piece of string round my waist, and it will dangle between my knees, sir. <laughs> and at a given point of choosing of my own, I shall let loose the string, and the bomb will drop down on the floor, sir. I see. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give him the time bomb. Right, sir. Wilson. Right, sir. Here we are. Here we are, Jonesy. Just try and keep still for a moment. It's a little rather difficult, this, you know, sir. I right. can't quite see where to put the. <laughs> It's very rather neat, wasn't it? <laughs> you can't see All right, the hole. Tie it on, Jones. All right, sir. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Quickly as you can. Yes, right, sir. <laughs> Do hurry. I want to try this out. I've only got two pairs of legs, you know, sir. <laughs> Give him a hand. Oh. Right, here, go on. Open up, Josie. Yes. Now, look, Joe, I'm tying a knot, so put your finger on it. <laughs> Not there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, get on with it. Whoa. Now, try this out and see if you can release the bomb. Whoa. Right, off you go. Right, sir. Right, sir. Release the bomb! Right, sir. <laughs> <Get more. laughs> right, you can stop jumping about now, Joe. Right, well, that seemed to work, Wilson. Yes, that's it. Uh, would you yes. like me to put the bomb back in again? Oh, no, think? we can't go through right. all that nonsense again. No, really? Let's just assume that it's inside. Oh. Now, stand by, everybody, because I want to run through this right from the start. Right, take up your positions. We're going through from the beginning. Where have you gone to? Where, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> We're going through the beginning. Corporal. Very good, sir. Right, sir. <laughs> right. Silly. You all right, Fraser? Aye, sir. Now, don't forget, boys. Put him don't on the raft. I taught you. And keep up a nice, steady pressure. Don't worry, Mr. Fraser. We'll keep pumping. And don't forget the signals. If I give four pulls on the, on this lifeline, it means I'm coming up. If you give four pulls on the lifeline, it means you want me to come up. See? Yeah, I've got it, Mr. Fraser. Two different signals, four and four. Never mind. Oh. Okay, put the glass in. Right. 
Start pumping. I don't trust Stop Pike, Wilson, man. Take up your diversion position. All right, sir. Right. right. Now let's get, get Fraser into the water. Mm. Hold on. Here we are. Right. Now, you're going into the water. Now, Fraser takes the log out from the boathouse into the open river. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. <laughs> That's just the water gurgling against the side, sir. I see. <laughs> now, I shall be looking through my periscope here. Fraser is now submerged. He's pushing the log along the river. He has now reached a point opposite the windmill. Gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> now, that's a signal for the diversion. Wilson? Yes? I've warbled. <laughs> Are you diverting? We're doing it behind the wall. <laughs> well, I can't see you. Well, of course, how could you say we're doing it behind the wall? Yeah, all right. I mean, st start again. Start again. Fraser! 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 Back here. He can't hear you, Mr. Mannering. Oh, well, give four pulls on his lifeline. Thank you very much. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get up. <laughs> All right, you don't have to look a funny colour, Mr. Mandarin. <laughs> Perhaps he hasn't got enough air. Sponge, more air, more We're air. We're pumping as hard as we can, Mr. Mandarin. Mr. Mandarin? Yes. Oh, shit. You're standing on the pipe, you stupid boy. Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> you ought to help him off with his helmet, sir. Oh, you can't do that, Uncle Arthur. What? He might get the bends in his oh, head. Oh. No one would tell the difference. Are you all right, Fraser? All right? Everything all right now? He Fra still can't what? hear you, Mr. Oh, Mandarin. Fra right, he's all right. Come on, we can't waste any more time. All right, Corporal. Yes, sir. OK, sir. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, now, once more. Here we go. Positions, everybody. Now, this time, we we'll get it right. Right? right. Here we go. <laughs> what are you doing, you stupid boy? <laughs> right, now, take up your wow. positions. Everything ready? Right, off you go. Oh, God, what not him. What Warden? What's going on? That's no concern of yours. What we are doing is vital to the war effort. Vital to the war effort? A bloke dressed up in a diving suit pushing another bloke on a soapbox dressed in a log? <laughs> vital to the war effort? Yes. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd never have believed it. <laughs> What's that? That's the water gurgling past. <laughs> Don't go away. Gerald's got to see this. <laughs> right. Come on now. Let's start again. When Fraser reaches a point oh, opposite the windmill, I here, shall I give what I tell you. A bloke in a diving suit pushing another bloke in a soapbox dressed in a log. Look now. <laughs> Don't call me a liar. Well, I got to the foot of our stairs. You were right. Here yeah, is your five bob. Are they on our side? <laughs> There's, there it is. Any sign of main wearings not yet, Sergeant? No, sir, nothing. Oh, uh, well, it's only a quarter to two. They're not due to start till two o'clock. I make it a quarter past, sir. What? Good heavens, damn thing must have stopped. You know, sir. Hmm? I don't see how that Warmington on Sea lot are going to get across all that open ground. All the others have failed. Ah, well, you keep your eye open for a lot of bushes. It's part of their master plan, <laughs> according to the verger. Do you think he's reliable, sir? Oh, yes, of course he is. He's my fifth column. I've got him posted in a graveyard on the side of a hill. <laughs> he can see everything from there. I'd better ring him up and see if he's OK. Check Captain Square, but I got my eyes peeled. Let me know as soon as anything moves. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick check now before we go. Uh, Jones? Yep. You got the, the bomb tied between your legs? Yes, yeah, quite comfy, thanks, sir. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> right. That's glass in. That's it. Right. Start the pump. Mr. Mannerin? Yes? 
Mr. Fraser's just given four pulls on his lifeline. That means he wants to come up. <laughs> He's already up, you silly boy. <laughs> Stop pumping. Yes, sir. It's in a hissy fit. What's the matter, Fraser? I just want to scratch my nose. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. All right, go on, hurry up. <laughs> that enough? That's it. Oh. <laughs> right, start the pumps. Right. Really, Jones? Yes, sir. OK, thank you, sir. Good luck. Good luck, sir. <laughs> right, lower him down onto the raft. Right, gurgle, 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 gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> this is great. It, it won't go through, Mr. Mannering. Oh. Give it to me, you stupid boy. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Yes. All right. They've got to a place now level with the windmill. Take over the periscope, Pike. Yes, sir. I'm going to sound the signal. Right, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. All right. Off we go, then. Shit, <laughs> 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 fucking Pike, man. I think they've started, sir. Ah, oh, shit. Look, over by that wall. What? What the devil are they doing? Left, right, left. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they drilling? They ought to be attacking us. It's typical of Maine Wedding's blimp mentality. Could be a trick, sir. No, it's impossible. I can count 15 rifles. It's a whole platoon. Come on, boys. Fishy here, uh, better ring the verger. They've got a lot of rifles tied to poles. You've been drinking. Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. There's a signal for the second diversion. Where can Joe got to? Hey, Charlie, haven't you started your diversion yet? Well, I've been waiting for you. Yeah. Look, I've been helping Mr. Wilson with his diversion. I mean, I can't be diverting everywhere, you know. <laughs> well, let's get on with it. Right, now, we put these tin hats on the sheep, and then we take them up to the mill. Uh, I can't see why we should put tin hats on the sheep. Because when they see them coming, they won't know whether it's us dressed up as sheep or not. <laughs> and one of them can't will be in the mill. <laughs> yeah, come on, darling, let the sheep <laughs> Clear off. 
Jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> Captain Square, sir. They're moving towards you dressed up as sheep with tin hats on. <laughs> dressed up as sheep with tin hats on. Martin, get off the line. <laughs> Mr. Mallory, Mr. Yes. Jones has reached the mill. Right. I will go and join Sergeant Wilson and the others at the rendezvous and then move in for the kill. Mm. <laughs> Have you caught a dose of the dreaded bends? No. <laughs> Ah, there you are, Mr. Yates. Oh, hello, sir. I've been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing? Uh, me, I'm a herbal chin, your reverence. Oh, I had no idea you were keen on ornithology. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Vicar Warbington on Sea Parish Church. <laughs> this moment, it's for you, Virgin. <laughs> Beautiful day, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jonesy. <laughs> wow. Listen, sir. Sounds like an alarm clock. Ha! Ah, it must be my gold hunter. <laughs> Yes, it started again. I told you it was reliable. I thought it came from the back, sir. By Jove. I see it. I see it. Look over here. Over here. By Jove, the verger was right. They are dressed up as sheep with tin hats on. Jeez. How the devil did they manage it? Perhaps they're using midgets, sir. <laughs> We've won! We've won! He's done it, sir. He's thrown the bomb in. Hooray! Climbed up under the sails. What did you do that for? Come on, let's go and accept their surrender. Uh, what? Oh, help, Mr. Manrin! Help! <laughs> help, Mr. Manrin! Hold on, Jones. We'll have you down in a minute. I'm just going to accept their surrender. Yes! I've come to accept your surrender. What are you talking about? We threw the bomb back. Oh, don't split hair, sir. I tell you, we've won. Absolute rubbish. We won. I tell you, we won. No, no, no. We won. Whoa. Blimey, the sails are moving. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> I refuse to surrender, and that's that. Excuse me, sir. The sails are moving. What? Um, what have you got to do? Whoa. Leave this to me, Wilson. I'll stick something in the machinery. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Yes. Don't panic. Don't panic. I'll be all right. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm I can right. see it. I'm all oh right. Don't panic now. I'm all right. Yes. I'm down there. Yes. I'm all right. Whoa. <laughs> don't panic. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that ragdoll shit, man. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, man. Don't panic, man. Don't panic. The king. Yo, that ragdoll shit at the end was hilarious. We got to talk about it, man. Jonesy be in crazy scenarios. One second. Thank you guys for hanging out. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. What's that? Uh, yeah, the squishing in the water. You get, definitely got to have your freaking sound effects on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Another crazy, fun-filled, uh, physical humor episode there. Uh, great scene with Jonesy there. Again, Manner with his idea to utilize, you know, Frazier's diving suit, man. Um... Back in the day when I had a fish tank, I had one of those little diver suit, uh, you know, uh, fish tank accessories that, you know, you plug it in and it starts moving and shit. So um, great to see that. I can't help. Obviously, this show predates um, 
a game that I used to play, but uh, Bioshock, I was thinking of the Big Daddy uh, suit there for a second. But yeah, great job by Frazier. I think he almost died for a little bit there. I felt like he was looking a little blue there uh, because that stupid boy, Pike, your stupid boy, was standing on the freaking line there. So my man was dying there. Pike, I don't know why they gave that man, they gave that dude uh, that responsibility. I, I for sure would not give that guy a responsibility. So... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give me, give it to me straight. Did our platoon, did our home guard win against the East? I think it was the East platoon. Uh, that square guy, definitely not the sharpest tool in the shed, man. At first, man, when uh, they did, you know, they had the back and forth phone call bit, man. I think he was thinking this guy was drunk as shit, man. Like, man, get get yourself together there. But uh, yeah, it's crazy how Walker's, you know, put in the. Um, you know, the helmets on the sheep, and they're like, how the hell did they get this, how did they get these outfits like that, man, these guys are, you know, a little bit, uh, I don't know that I would want them protecting my uh, location or anything like that, so that made for great humor, um, you know, we always praise in Jonesy, Jonesy just cracks me up, and, you know, his, perm his permission to speak, sir, his permission to volunteer is always uh, refreshing. It doesn't get old for me. Um, you know, him with the tree thing, you know, the little things that he does, the handshake below, then going back up top, uh, you know, uh, how the hell did he get that thing open, uh, the front part open? Because in the beginning, when he was, um, when he made it to land, he couldn't get it open. So there are little things I wonder, like how the hell, he couldn't get it open before, now he got that shit open there. Uh, the clock bit uh, was great. So did we win, guys? I feel like that, that's a W, uh, but you guys got to let me know what you think. Did, did the home guard come through? I felt like that plan was executed, although it may seem, um, you know, odd in their strategicness, but, um, you know, their strategies, I think that sometimes that makes for a great uh, element of surprise and stuff like that. You know, great, clever with the, you know, holding the guns up with the wood there. You know, my man's calling, snitching and shit. I'm not so happy about that because, hey, you spend part of your time with the home guard, but I guess he just doesn't like the way he's been treated. The home guard hasn't really been treating him um, that well. But, man, to snitch it up, I just I just don't feel right on that, man. The way he's grassing up the scenario, um, at the end of the day, it, it worked out for their benefit. Uh, you know, when the vicar came through with the phone call thing and the other guy's face and shit— um, I think Jonesy, I think it was Jonesy that had a great line um, when the verger was uh, saying about the face and that's his typical face and shit like that. I think it was Jonesy that had a great line or if it was Walker, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, he had a great line in, in response to uh, the guy's face shit, but you never, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's not, it, well, it's not the same as food service, but similar you, you're, you're messing with a guy. Don't mess with him. You're playing with fire. Jonesy said you're playing with fire. You know, he's in charge of your meat. However you want to phrase that shit. Don't mess with a guy in the food service. I would not be messing with Jonesy, man, because you're going to start getting uh, a lot less meat. I, I know it sounds crazy and shit. Never mess with anybody in the food industry and stuff. I have nothing but respect for that. Um, another dope episode. I mean, Physical humor was there. Uh, Frazier telling probably, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, the most boring story. I thought I felt like it was interesting and shit, but I have to have the group was falling asleep. He's like, uh, so, uh, you know, Manor was like, so you got the suit, right? And she, he was telling either the most best story ever. I felt like he's good at telling stories or the most boring. Let me know what you feel about it. But again, just enjoying uh, the series. It's been a lot of episodes that have a lot of great physical humor. Uh, this windmill shit uh, was great. Um, I'm not going to lie. When he when Jonesy was climbing up the ladder and shit, this is going to sound weird. But he definitely looked like he was playing with something. Like he had experience playing. Like, I guess it was just the camera angles. The way he was playing. Reaching around and shit. Going like that. I don't know, man. That shit was having me dying, man. And, and my... Dirty mindset definitely looked like he was playing with something else. I know it's bad, but you know, um, that's my crazy ass humor. My humor is all over the place, man. I got a sick mind sometimes, uh, or dirty mind, but yeah, he definitely was playing with something. But this tree bit thing was great, uh, you know, the costume thing, him. Uh, couldn't see, you know, falling into the water. How the hell he got back up? I, I guess maybe Frazier pushed him back up. Um, but yeah, just commendable job. Jonesy's the dude. Um, 
great uh, bit with uh, with Wilson early on. I felt like I, 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 it felt like it was some sort of auction hall kind of thing when he was introducing the tree, like some Vanna White shit or, you know, so fill me in a little bit there, but still was a funny scene that he was singing. Uh, great voice, great voice by my homie. Uh, we got to say again, uh, Walker's character is great. Wilson's great. Uh, that bar scene was interesting. I was a little bit confused in the beginning. I'm like, what the, what the? you know, because we're, we're having a, 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 it was good to have a change of scenery there. I felt bad for my homies that they did not get a pint. It came out this way. They didn't get shit. Um, that laugh that he was doing was crazy. That uh, um, square and with putting the watch in the mouth and shit. He's talking. He's trying to say greet to Mannering. <laughs> Silly humor. Um, you know, I just I just love the show. So I just again thank you all uh, to those who have introduced me. You know, early on. You know, suggesting a long time ago uh, into the series. It's become a new favorite of mine. Uh, you know, it just. A great comedy. I love the characters. The humor is great. Give me some more physical humor. That shit just cracks me up there. I don't think I'm going to forget him on the windmill anytime soon there. And that that last shit, they flew off. That shit was great, man. It's so funny. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Absolutely free to do. Uh, you know, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Sometimes reactions go up early. It may not be this series. It might be something else that goes up early. But so you don't miss out on a beat. Thank you to those who are already subscribed uh, on the channel. Many thanks on that. Shout out to the patrons as well. Thank you for your extra support. Links are always in the description section. If you're curious for all that, that's just another way of helping out the channel. And yeah, just have a great weekend. Uh, we got some IT crowd tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to watching another episode. As always, it's just been an absolute joy. Um, you know, watching uh, a lot of these series is so fun to watch. It's great to experience new things. And and I thank you all to those who accompany me on the journey. I can't thank you guys enough. So I'll never stop thanking you guys. So uh, get used to it. See you soon. Peace and love. Have a great weekend nonetheless.